No, thank, thank you guys time. for being here. Yes, sir. I know that, um, in all seriousness, your your organizations have to make a serious commitment to take this kind of trip. Absolutely. You know, because you, you guys have hunkered down, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, we, we, we do appreciate it for the long haul. I'm going to stop pressing the record button. Let's not get it carried away with the commitment. No, we do, we do appreciate you being here, though. Yeah. Well, Ray, just how exciting is it to be out here, even with a Sweet 16 matchup, especially the program's second in three years? It's very exciting. I mean, what Coach Staley's done in her six years at, at the university has been very, very impressive. And, you know, I was thinking about it this morning. To get in this position is not easy. You know, she has uh, certainly put us in a position with our women's basketball program to compete for a national championship. Is that an easy task? Absolutely not. And, you know, whether it'll be this year or somewhere down the road, She's in position, and that's that's not an easy task, and it's exciting to be a part of it, and you know, I'm glad I was able to be here. You've had, obviously, plenty of success with developing young talent and getting them to win on the highest level. Are you surprised at all with how Coach Staley's been able, to, what she's been able to do with this young team? I'm really not surprised because I've known her for a long time, and, and I probably knew her well before she knew me. I followed her at UVA, I followed her in the WNBA, and the three gold medals, and I admired her, you know, from a distance. My wife had actually worked in the WNBA with the Sting, so I was close to the situation. And then when Eric Hyman hired her up, I was thinking, wow, what a what a tremendous hire. She she gets it. She played. She understands it. She she's done it all, and she's won at a high level. And and she understands that that it's important. The overall success of the team is about a body of work, and not one player or two players. And and um, she she coaches like she plays, and and she she kept her she kept it her way. She stayed to the blueprint that she brought in here, and she's having great success. And I'm really not surprised. And and I I do believe that you know she'll stay in position to compete at the highest level as she has done. Coach, right. can you talk about a couple of years ago when there was that flirtation after the Sweet 16? I mean, perhaps she would leave. And you step in. That's your job to keep her. Here. Best decision you ever made? Um, it, was a, it was a difficult time in my first year as an AD. I remember distinctly when I got the call on Wednesday afternoon, Easter week, and I, the call came in from Ohio State, and I, I was thinking, you know, this may be a, a call to play football. I didn't know what the call was about, so I returned the call, and they said, no, we'd like to tell you that we're going to come after your women's basketball coach, and, and that was unsettling to me. Um, I have great respect for Dawn, certainly didn't want her to leave our university. I immediately called Dr. Pestides and, and I said, I need to go to work. I need your support to, to try to make this happen. And, um, and, and Dawn was great. She's very happy at Carolina and, you know, she's got some roots down now. She didn't get on an airplane and we were able to, to keep her here. And uh, it is a great decision, not necessarily mine. It's the Board of Trustees and Dr. Pestides and everybody involved and, and all of our Gamecocks are excited that she's here. So, talk about that young talent that you've already coached. How do you cultivate that young talent and keep them, I guess, level-headed as the stages get bigger and bigger and bigger? Well, it's a daily, it's a daily mission that you're on as a program, and, and Coach Staley understands that better than anybody. But, you know, it's not an individual, it's not an individual deal. It's a team sport, and one day it's going to be Tiffany, the next day it's going to be Alicia, and it's going to be Elena, and it's everybody contributes to having a successful program, and and that's what she preaches that. Um, you know, we're going to do the things that we need to do as a team to be successful, and at the end of the day, we win as a team. And, you know, she, like I said, her, her intuitiveness is as great as any coach that I've ever seen. She understands what she needs to do to be successful, and her team follows suit. She, she has walked the world, and her, I think her players understand that. They respect that. And, you know, at the end of the day, and I've heard this, you know, over the years, you know, people don't care how much you know till they know how much you care. Well, her players know know how much she cares, and that's that's acceptable. Ray, uh, just looking at obviously it's been kind of an extended trip on the West Coast. How comforting will it be to know that you can play at home next year for at least the two rounds if you earn it? Well, that is comforting. I, I think it's a great move for women's basketball that it's merit based. Uh, I don't know everything that went into it, but I know that it was uh, it was a successful initiative when college baseball went this way, and I certainly think it will be for women's basketball as well. I, I know that we're all appreciative of a number one seed, and you know the teams that we've played so far, I, I think that that is correct. But it was a long trip, no <laughs> doubt about it. With all the recent success that Gamecocks Athletics as a whole has had, how nice is it to have women's basketball kind of you know, up in the rear, I mean, with, with the number one seed? 
Uh, well, it's exciting, and like I said, it, it's um, great for our university. And, and these these women and Coach Staley and her staff, they, they deserve it. They went through the SEC and won the won the championship outright. That's a difficult thing to do in our league, in a lot of sports. So I understand that. I've been there, but um, it, it is deserving to be where we are today, and it's great. Coach Staley has so much respect for other teams on our campus, and it's vice versa. And, and people pull for her and her team, and you know it's uh, it has embraced the campus. You know, with the with the, the 32s and the 16s that have been flying around, it's been all over the place. So uh, we're all excited to, to be here, and hopefully we get a chance to continue to play.